Welcome to the online class of English grammar for grade 6. How are you my dear students? I hope you will be fine. Today we are going to do a couple of exercises about the topics of proofreading and pronouns on pages 94 and 96. First of all, you will open your book on page 94. You will rewrite each sentence correcting mistakes in subject verb agreement and in spelling and punctuation. As I told you in my previous lecture, my dear students, if the subject is he, she, it, or any singular noun, there will be an S or ES along with the verb. And if the subject is I, you, we, they, or any plural noun, there will be no S or ES in the verb. Number 1, page 94. Our dog Scout likes to chase squirrels when we go to the park. Now you cannot say we goes. Definitely, there should not be any ES in the verb if the subject is we. That is a main mistake in the sentence. Please write your complete sentence. Our dog Scout likes to chase squirrels when we go to the park. Number two, she bark and chase them until they run up a tree. In this sentence, there are three mistakes about verbs. She barks. Along with she, there will be S or ES in the verbs. She barks and chases them until they run up a tree. Now, if the subject is they, there will be no S or ES in the verb. You will plainly say it, they run up a tree. I will repeat the answer. She barks and chases them until they run up a tree. Number three, no matter how fast a scout runs, she never catch them. That is a mistake actually. No matter how fast a scout runs. Who is scout? The name of an animal. Actually, that is a dog. Along with that one animal, you will use S or ES in the verb. Scout runs. She never catches them. Finish your sentence with full stop, not with sign of interrogation. No matter how fast scout runs, she never catches them. Number four, once they are safe in the trees, scout sit and barks at the squirrels. Once they are safe in the trees, yes, this is a mistake here. The second word of the sentence is possessive adjective in the book. But in the answer you write, once they are safe. Once they are safe in the trees, scout sits and barks at the squirrels. You will use S in the verb of sit. Scout sits and barks. Scout sits and barks at the squirrels. I will repeat the answer. Once they are safe in the trees, scout sits and barks at the squirrels. Number five, everyone thinks it's a chase that interests scout. Please write your answer. Everyone thinks it is the chase. Now I am saying it is, but when you will write it is with contraction, you will pronounce it like it's. This is also it's, but that is possessive adjective. Everyone thinks it's the chase that interests Scout. Finish your sen sentence with a sign of exclamation. Everyone thinks it's the chase that interests Scout. Now on page number 96, you will have two exercises. First, exercise A, you will choose a correct relative pronoun in parentheses to complete each sentence. Write the corrected sentence on the line provided. First of all, I would like to give you a brief introduction of relative pronouns. In our English grammar, we use the words like who, whom, which, that, whose, where, when, why, that as relative pronouns. Because these words are relative pronouns, join two different clauses to make them into one new expression. Some of these relative pronouns are also used as interrogative pronouns, which you will do in the next exercise. Now, what will you do in the exercise A of page 96? You will choose the best relative pronoun to complete the sentence. No need to circle the correct answer. Your answer will be the complete sentence that you will write on the line provided to you. This is a magazine that or what I told you about. Please write your answer. This is a magazine that I told you about. Number two, she is the artist whose or which work I like best. Please be careful about your spellings. Write the answer. She is the artist whose work I like best. She is the artist whose work I like best. Number three. 
He is the boy who are which lives downstairs from me. And your answer will be, he is the boy who lives downstairs from me. Yes, now we are moving towards our exercise B on page 96. You will turn the following statements into questions using the interrogative pronouns in parentheses. Write the questions on the line. The words like who, whom, whose, what, and which. These are called interrogative pronouns because these make the questions in our English writing. When you use these words in the beginning of the sentence, obviously you are going to make a question statement. Now, our exercise is very interesting. Here in the book, teacher will give you some affirmative sentences. Affirmative sentences are those which are neither interrogative nor negative. These are very plain sentences. You can say positive sentences. Okay, I am watering the plants. Now you will turn, you will change this sentence into an interrogative one by using the interrogative pronoun what. So your answer will be what are you doing? So when you say the sentence what are you doing? The suitable answer is I am watering the plants. Now if someone tells you this sentence these flowers attract me. These flowers attract me. Then you have to change this sentence into an interrogative sentence by using the interrogative pronoun which, what will you say? You will say which flowers attract you. And your reply will be these flowers attract me. Exercise number B, page 96. These books are due back to the library today. Now you will change this sentence into a question statement by using the interrogative pronoun which you will say which books are due back to the library today. Number five, I will have a sandwich for lunch today. I will have a sandwich for lunch today and you will turn it into an interrogative statement by using the pronoun what and you will say what will I ha have for lunch today? What will I have for lunch today? Now in the response of this question, this is a suitable answer. I will have a sandwich for lunch today. Number six, these are Vika's rain boots. And you will change into an interrogative statement by using the pronoun whose. You will say, whose rain boots are these? Whose rain boots are these? So far, we have done two and our three exercises on pages 94 and 96. And what is your homework? You will revise the exercises about relative and interrogative pronouns. I hope you would have done the whole exercises completely and flawlessly. Thank you very much for attending the online class and see you next time with a new lesson. Bye.